everyone and welcome back to another video so in this one i'm going to be using some of the polishes that i got with the last madam glam collection because i absolutely love them and i wanted to do a set with them so i'm using a few of them the first one i'm using is the muse which is a gorgeous like pastel blue but it's quite sheer so i'm just putting that on the bottom half of the nail and then i'm using the ombre brush just to sort of feather it up towards the top of the nail um, and I'm putting two coats of all of these colours on um, just to get them, give them a little bit more coverage. So I'm doing exactly the same on the middle nail, but I'm using Mother's Wish, which is a gorgeous pink. And I did put tips onto the practice hand um, and you can see where the tips end. There is a bit of a bump there, but don't worry about that because that's all going to get covered up. So, and that's also why this ombre doesn't need to be perfect so gentle touch is the purple one and that's going on the pointer finger so again i'm just putting one coat of that on and then feathering it up before i cure it in the lamp so these polishes cure for 60 seconds So I'm just going in with the second coat now and I don't normally show you the second coat but I wanted you to just see the difference between one coat and two coats sort of over clear because these tips are clear. So we're going to be using glitter today and I really missed using glitter. I've not used it for so long and I don't know why um, because I absolutely love it. So I was just going for it today and doing a set of nails that I really wanted to do. So I would have loved these on myself but um, it's gardening time at the moment so I want my nails still quite short because I'm getting them in the ground and even though I do wear gardening gloves you still get loads of muck under there and I don't want that when I've got nice glittery nails on so that's why I'm doing that on the practice hand today so the last colour that I'm using is called Love Bond and I'm putting that over the entire ring finger and I'm putting two coats of that on as well So I'm just going to show you the glitters that I'll be using. So the first one is from Smiley's and that's called Blue Iris Iridescent Mylar Mix. That's a gobful. Um, and then I've got Sugar Baby, which was kindly sent to me by Aggie. So thanks for that, Aggie. I'm going to be using that today. Um, and I'm going to be using this Lavender Lights from Nail Sugar as well. And they're all quite fine. But then this one is a little bit more chunky. It's called Lava Lamp and that's from Nail Sugar as well. And it is gorgeous. It's such a vibrant. It's not quite an orange and not quite a pink but it is beautiful so that's going on the ring finger so i'm using the base coat from madam glam but this is my glitter base coat so it means that i can use this without worrying about getting bits of glitter in it so i'm just putting that on the top half of the nail and i'm leaving that wet and then i'm just patting the glitter into it and i am putting it right up from the cuticle area all the way down to sort of three quarters down the nail and there is still that sticky layer on the nail from the gel polish so it will stick everywhere i want it to go but i wanted it predominantly sort of at the top and sort of the middle of the nail so then i'm putting the lava lamp on the ring finger and i'm just making sure that i do cover everything there will be gaps but that doesn't matter because we've got that coloured nail underneath but these this just goes so well i absolutely love this colour and then the sugar baby is going on the middle finger and then the lavender lights is going on the pointer finger so when all the glitter is on that does get cured in the lamp for 60 seconds so i hope everyone's okay i just want to ask you to like this video if you did like it and if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing it really does help my channel and my views yeah that would really help me out if you could do that um but how is everybody at the moment the uk the weather has really changed it's lovely and summery and it's warm and i absolutely love this time of year so i'm so glad that the sun's finally come out because we just did have like months of rain just non-stop rain and even for the uk that was a bit much so yeah i'm loving all the sunshine and I just thought these nails were a perfect like sort of spring summery set. Just those lovely bright colours that we all love in the summertime. So what is the weather like where you are? I'd love to know whatever part of the world that you're in, what your weather's like at the moment. 
we Brits are absolutely obsessed with the weather and that is because we don't get very much nice weather over here so when we do get it that's all we talk about. So when all that glitter's on, I do cure the base coat in the lamp for 60 seconds just to set all that glitter in place and then I go in with the glitter top coat again, uh, sorry the base coat and then I'm just sort of scrubbing that into the nails because um, it's not so bad on the practice hand but it's really important that you make sure that there's no air uh, gaps and there can be sort of air uh, pockets in the nails if you're using glitter, especially more chunky glitter. So I do pay a bit more attention on that ring fingernail because if you have air uh, pockets in there it's where bacteria can form and that's where nail fungus can form and that's absolutely disgusting and none of us want that. So yeah, this base coat, because it's thinner than building gel, it does sink into all the little gaps that might be there. So I always do that before I go in with sort of um, a builder gel to encapsulate it. And then what I'm doing is I've cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm using this builder gel from Madame Glam called Baby Pink. And this is a gorgeous pink and I'm putting this from the cuticle area, just where sort of the nail bed area would be. But I do want a tiny little gap right at the cuticle area so that you can just see the glitter sort of popping through. So I paint it on like I would with a base coat at first. So I've got like a slip layer and then I do put another bead on and just feather it down a bit. And then I get my detailer brush and I just get the very end um, sort of where the gel has finished. And then I just feather it down so that it sort of blends in a little bit. So I'm doing that on the pinky finger, the middle finger and the pointer finger. I'm not putting any of this on that ring finger. And then that all gets cured in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm using another builder gel from Madame Glam and that is the clear builder in a bottle called Pure Serenity. What would have been really good for this set would have been the new gel pots that they brought out because they have brought out a pink and a clear um, and a white as well I think but I haven't got those so I'm waiting for them to come back into stock before I can order them. Uh, but yeah, it did take me quite a few goes with um, this clear builder gel because what I'm doing is I'm painting it on like I would a base coat. So I've got my slip layer and that's going over the entire nail and then I'm putting another bead on at the cuticle area and I'm feathering that down. And if I'd got a big enough bead on my brush, I would have done this in about two beads, but I had to do it in quite a lot because the gel's running out. So I had to keep trying to sort of turn the bottle upside down to get as much air as I could. But eventually I do get that over the entire nail. So that's just to give the nail a bit of structure and obviously to make sure that the nail is all smooth because we put that extra gel in the nail bed area, but we didn't put any of the extra gel sort of over the tip. So there isn't any structure there at all. So this just helps that all to get a nice structure and make sure that it's all even and it also protects that glitter that we've put on so I do off camera just turn the hand upside down just to help with the flow of the gel and make sure that it's all where it needs to be because you need more of the gel in the center of the nail and less at the sides and if you turn your hand upside down it does help the gel to flow exactly like that 
So I'm going to do that on all of the nails and then they will get a 60 second cure. I do actually do each nail separately and cure it separ separately just so that I don't get any flowing where I don't want it to be. So this is how they look when they have had the gel on but they've not been filed or anything yet. And then this is how they look when they've been filed. So I did that off camera, I actually took the tips out of the practice hand because I don't want to file on this hand. Um, so now it's time to put the top coat on. So I'm using Madame Glam's No White Top Coat and this really just brings the glitter to life and I think I absolutely love this part. I did go extra slowly but I did speed it up a tiny little bit. Um, so that it wouldn't take forever. So my favourite nail, I think, is the lava lamp one. I love the colour of it. I thought I'd love the sugar baby one best, but no, this lava lamp one just, um, oh, I love it. So yeah, I could have just done a glitter fade and not used that pink gel, but I just thought, but I do really like the way that it turned out. So let me know in the comments what you think of these nails. Do you like them? Would you wear them? I absolutely love them. And I probably will do something like this on my own nails, but not just right now. So, like I said earlier, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe? Most of the views on my channel are not subscribers, so I would really love it if you hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank everyone that does watch my videos and comment because you really are appreciated. So, links to everything that I've used in the video will be in the description box. Also, if you want to discount code for Madame Glam it will be in the top corner of the screen and it'll also be in the description box I'm just showing you the thumbnail because I did something different on this one. I used the Muse, the blue, two coats, and then I put Soft Lullaby, which was the glitter blue from this collection on top of that, and I think that looked really nice as well. So that is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.